So we have a problem. I think we need to call the police. Okay, because we have a I'd like to talk to the manager that was on the floor today. Uh, that's me. Oh, you're... Yes. Okay, you're, you're the one with gray hair? Um, okay. No, is that yeah. true? I'm just trying to identify you, that's all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was in here in your establishment uh, maybe an hour ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was talking with three employees. Yes. Okay, you remember me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad you do. Um, I was wondering if you could um, either um, provide your email address so you could send me the actual documents about what you imposed upon me today. Like the, uh, the evidence I, of that, because what, uh, I would what I would like to share with you is the actual Middlesex Health Unit website information yeah. about it. Right. Have you ever read it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And what did I do that just that went against that? No, we just they are requiring that anyone that enters a business to wear a mask. But do you not know that there's exemptions? Um, just medical exemptions, yes. There's actually quite a few exemptions. Shall I go over the list? No, I really, I don't have time. Oh, but you, um, had, to, you had time to instruct me to um, leave the store under a policy that you cannot mandate to people that are not required to uh, have a face mask. But you could have just, you could have just said that you had a medical. I did. That, well, you I did right off the start. Me. Not to you, but I said it to you, the other two employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they framed it under me being aggressive by responding to their accusations. So everything was wrong that happened today. Do you realize that? And I didn't do anything wrong. The employees came up to me while I was minding my own business. Yes, but we are we do do that to anyone that comes into the store. Okay, so you're going against the mandate. No, we were just asking. Or we're not asking them. We're we're letting them know that they are required. Okay, to wear be a because and some do say because, yes. They, Okay. They have a medical condition. They do okay, but I don't even have to provide any proof of the of why no, I have I an exemption. No, I understand that. Yes, that's, you're, true. you're right. I know that. Yes. Okay, because your employees seem confused about that. So that's the issue I have. And uh, are, are they medical medically trained people? Um, no. Okay, do They're they have that discernment trained. behind their profession? No. Okay. So do you see where they went wrong? Anyways, what I wanted to share with you today, and thanks for taking my call, mm -hmm. um, is the actual healthunit.com website from Middlesex, where it mm -hmm. clearly states that you should actually have that on your door to, to not cause this type of confusion and confusion with your actual customers as well, which I was attacked by two of them while I was there. And you guys did not tell them to leave the store. Really? Get a job, buddy. Get a fucking job. Like, that was infringing on my rights as well. You protected them. Hello? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, and as soon as I went to protect myself to videotape him, you guys tried to infringe on my rights by saying that you were going to call the police. What would the police do? Would they enforce the actual... Well, they, would, the, they, they, would, have, they would have removed you. Remove me under what pretense? Well, because it's private property and we asked you to leave. Yeah, but you had no right to tell me to leave. So it's public or is it private? That, that's where it's confusing with the goodwill mandate online and your mission statement. That's where- It's still the, private property. It, yeah, but you're a commercial entity. And what you have to deal with is imposed upon you, not the public. So I understand why you have to wear a mask, but you cannot impose it upon people. 
like, I, I wish I could go over this list with you, or I could share it with you so you could be educated about it. And that's all I request. I'm not infringing on your rights by you knowing about this stuff. I know it's a confusing time and everyone's getting mixed messages due to the media. The media literally lies about it. So where are you getting your facts? I'm getting my facts my, from my head office. Oh. I have policies and procedures that I need to follow. That you do, but not, yes. not me as and a public. We are asked to, to let customers know as well. Okay. And Louise, your one employee, she was the one that approached me first with the, mm -hmm. with the words of, I have to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's when I stated to her, I do not have to do it due to medical exemption purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's between me and my lawyer and my doctor. Well, yes, we are not. We are not. But they kept pushing it on me. And then you uh, came out. I appreciate you I, came out. I don't think yeah. you were unreasonable. But when you guys stated you were going to call the police, that's when it became well, a it human's. Be it became a human rights infringement. It, it did. You, you have to admit it did escalate a little. I bit. did not. Like admit, you, no, I'm not admitting at all. I responded. That's all I did. Yeah. It escalated with your other customers. You have to admit. Well. He yeah. called me an asshole. Oh dear. Yeah. So. I could take that slight of that, but I let it go. And there's no coincidence when I decided to videotape that to protect myself that you guys yeah, well, that, went. That's not, that's no, but okay. you guys, it is okay to videotape for, for protection. I would never use it against someone only in court if I, I was infringed upon. You understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Am I trespassed from the store? No. Okay. No, I never, I never said anything. No, like that. I'm only asking you out of, so, no. so I'm clear with the communication. Right. Yeah. And my name's Scott. And that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be my decision anyway. That would be my, my manager. Okay. And my name's Scott, by the way. Okay, Scott. Yeah. Okay. And you were married? Pardon? What was your name again? Nancy. Nancy. Okay. I wish for no ill will between me and your employees and mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if I choose to spend my dollars in your store, I have a right to. Yep. Without a mask. Yes, but yeah, if someone, uh, you know, if someone approaches, you just say that you have a medical <clears throat> condition. Your which I did, which I did, but they didn't seem to understand no, I did that. Not. And I they did doubt not. It. Yeah, and they and doubted. I did not hear that. No, you were not there yet, and they doubted me. Right, right. Okay. So that's where they went over the line themselves, and I won't hold it against them. And I'm gonna, right. I'm going to just carry around the actual document. That's fine. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, the document stating that. Yeah, from the health unit. But, but you don't have to show it. You just no, I, I mean I mean the health you, unit. You're not required to do that. No, no, I don't. That's not what I meant. I meant the health unit, who is exempt list. Oh, oh okay. Because yeah. a lot of people. That's what I mean. I understand a lot of people are confused about that. And again, I, I'm not. I don't hold it against them, but people are angry and upset and confused about this whole thing, so I understand it ruffles some feathers. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Are you with or not? Or because you, you uh, alluded to that I could. Oh, sure. Yeah, like a direct email for you? Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I get that, Nancy? No. Okay. N. Okay. N. Kennedy. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. That's K E N N E D Y. That's correct. And that's all one all together, right? Yes. Okay. At Goodwill Industries. Okay. Dot ca. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Nancy. You're welcome. You have a good day. Yeah, I wish you a good day. Thanks okay. for thanks for taking my call. Okay. No okay. worries. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. So, am I trespassed from the store? No. Okay. No, I never. I never said anything.
No, that I'm only asking you out of so no. so I'm clear with the communication. Right. The following message will be deleted in one day, Saturday, four twenty eight p.m. Hi Scott, it's Constable Joel Pinkham with the Strathair Care Police. It is 4.30 on the 8th, Saturday of August 2020. If you can call me back at 519-245-1250, uh, I just need to speak to you regarding the matter at Goodwill. Um, so again, it's Constable Joel Pinkham, 519-245-1250. Thanks Scott, bye. To replay this message, press 1-1. One, one. To delete this message, press 7. To resave this message, press 9. To copy this message, this message will be saved for 3 days. The following message will be deleted in 1 day, Sunday, 9.05 a.m. Hi, Scott. It's Constable Joel Pinkham again with the Strathair Care Police. It's 5 after 9 on Sunday the 9th of August 2020. Uh, it's just regarding an issue at uh, Goodwill. Um, I haven't been able to get in touch with it yet, but basically they're uh, trespassing you from the store um, for five years. Uh, so I've got a trespass letter here. Um, it's on file. Um, if you want, I can come in and you can get a copy of it. If not, it'll be on file. But if you head back there, you'll be charged with trespassing. So I just wanted to let you know that. If you have any questions, you can call me at 519-245-1250. Again, it's Constable Joel Pinkham. Thanks, Scott. Bye. To replay this message, 